So let's go through all of my cast iron pans. It's not just as a healthier alternative that I started using these pans. It's also when we started practicing zero waste that I thought of using this as the better option. I bought this pan last year online from Amazon as this kind is not produced locally in my place in Kerala. This is an 8 inch pan and serves my purpose of frying any kind of food. Impressed with its performance, I ordered a bigger pan this year. It's a 12 inch pan and weighs more than 3 kg. It's been only 2 weeks since I started using it. That's why you could see the color difference in both pans. It comes pre-seasoned when you buy, but still I season it with coconut oil before the first use. Now, my new pan looks grey and after continuous usage of one year, you can see it will turn black like this smaller pan. This is my 12 inch dosa pan which my mom bought for me from a local store near my home. She seasoned it for me. In case you find your iron pans getting rusted like this, you just need to scrub that part with salt and wet steel wool and wash it with water. It should be good to go. Further, you could dry it and apply some oil. These are my appam pans and the bigger one I use it as an iron kadai as well. These are also from my home. Locally available items cost much less than buying online. These costed me each less than 300 to 400 rupees only. You will have to season it as it comes unseasoned. This kadai comes with handle which makes it easier to handle but still you'll have to use some clothes pad or silicone handles to hold them as it gets hot while on stove. These are the new set of my lightweight cast iron pans I got from India this time I went for vacation. Actually we bought this from an exhibition center named Jack Food Festival. Uh, it had this stall set up by Kudumbashri which is a government initiative. Lightweight cast iron as the name implies weighs less than a traditional cast iron pan. When you look at it, both pans you can understand the difference in thickness. Quality wise it's always the thicker and traditional cast iron pans which will last you like forever if given proper care. It's made in a metal mold that makes it possible to be made thin which is often milked to make it even thinner. Meanwhile the traditional cast iron pans are made in sand mold which makes it thick and long lasting. For seasoning these, I just applied some oil all over and kept them on medium to low flame for 10 minutes. I used this pan mainly for seasoning and making eggs. It comes with a wooden handle which makes the handling easier. This is a 9.5 inch flat pan and comes with handles. Uh, it can be used for frying. After seasoning, it's always better first to fry an egg or saute some sliced onions in it for better nonstick properties. This is a 12 inch wok. It's the biggest iron pan I have so far. I have a variety of uses with this one such as stir fry, deep fry, sauteing etc. Never cook acidic food in your cast iron pans like tomato and tamarind. If you had to, then immediately transfer the contents to serving dish after it's done. Or you could also use a clay pot for this purpose. After making appam and dosas, it's not required to wash it always. I'll just wipe it with clothes and apply some oil while it's still hot. If I need to wash, I'll dry it after and heat it in medium flame for a minute and apply oil all over before storing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and tap the bell icon to receive notifications of all my future videos.